Hi dear students, in this video we are discussing the questions from the chapter Atomic Structure of Plus One Syllabus which were asked in the previous year's NEET exams from the year 2020 to 2024. You please listen. Now question number 5. If a radius of second bounds orbit of the helium plus ion is 105.8 picometer, what is the radius of third bounds orbit of Li2 plus ion? Option number 1, 158.7 angstrom. Option number 2, 158.7 picometer. Option number 3, 15.87 picometer. And option number 4, 1.587 picometer. Listen, we know the radius of nth bounds orbit of an atom Rn is proportional to n square divided by Z where n is the principal quantum number of the orbit and Z is atomic number of the atom. Now we can write Rn is equal to a constant k into n square divided by Z. In the question radius of second bounds orbit of He plus ion is given which is equal to 105.8 picometer. So we can calculate R2 of He plus ion which is equal to constant k into here the value of n is equal to 2 2 square atomic number of helium is also 2 by 2 which is equal to k into 2 this is given as 105.8 picometer therefore we can calculate the value of k which is equal to 105.8 divided by 2 that is equal to 52.9 picometer now we can calculate the radius of third bounds orbit of Li2 plus ion that is R3 of Li2 plus ion is equal to constant k into here the value of n is equal to 3 therefore 3 square atomic number of lithium is also 3 by 3 that is equal to k into 3 we know the value of k that is equal to 52.9 into 3 that is equal to 158.7 picometer so here the answer is option number 2 now question number 6 select the correct statement from the following a atoms of all elements are composed of two fundamental particles b the mass of the electron is 9.10939 into 10 raise to minus 31 kilogram c all the isotopes of a given element show same chemical properties d protons and electrons are collectively known as nucleons e dalton's atomic number regarded the atom as an ultimate particle of matter choose the correct answer from the options given below option number 1 c d and e only option number 2 a and e only option number 3 b c and e only option number 4 a b and c only now we can analyze the statements one by one you please listen statement a atoms of all elements are composed of two fundamental particles we know this is a wrong statement because atom is composed of three fundamental particles electrons, protons and neutrons. Therefore, statement A is wrong. Statement B. The mass of the electron is 9.10939 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram. This is a right statement. Therefore, statement B is correct. Now, statement C. All the isotopes of a given element show same chemical properties. This is a correct statement because isotopes have same chemical properties but they have different physical properties. Then statement number D. Protons and electrons are collectively known as nucleons. This is a wrong statement because protons and neutrons are called nucleons. Statement E. Dalton's atomic theory regarded the atom as an ultimate particle of matter. This is also a correct statement. So here the answer is option number 3 that is B, C and E only. 
Now question number 7. The relation between Nm in bracket Nm is equal to the number of permissible values of magnetic quantum number M. For a given value of azimuthal quantum number L is option number 1 L is equal to 2 into Nm plus 1. Option number 2 Nm is equal to 2L square plus 1. Option number 3, Nm is equal to L plus 2. Option number 4, L is equal to Nm minus 1 divided by 2. We know for each value of L, that is for each azimuthal quantum number value, number of magnetic quantum number values Nm is equal to 2L plus 1. Therefore, 2L is equal to Nm minus 1. So, L is equal to Nm minus 1 divided by 2. So here the answer is option number 4. Now question number 8. The energy of an electron in the ground state that is n is equal to 1 for helium plus ion is minus x joule. Then that for an electron in n is equal to 2 state for beryllium 3 plus ion in joule is Option number 1 minus x, option number 2 minus x by 9, option number 3 minus 4x and option number 4 minus 4 by 9x. We know the energy of electron present in the nth Bohr's orbit of an atom En is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into Z square divided by n square joules per atom. Here Z is atomic number of the atom and n is a principal quantum number value of the orbit. Here in this question, the energy of an electron in the ground state of He plus ion is given as minus x joules. That is E1 of He plus ion is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18. Here atomic number of helium is 2. Therefore 2 square divided by here principal quantum number value is 1, 1 square. This is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into 4. This is given as minus x joules. Now we want to calculate the energy of electron present in the n is equal to 2 of beryllium 3 plus ion. That is E2 of Be3 plus ion is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into atomic number of beryllium is 4 therefore 4 square divided by principal quantum number value is 2 so 2 square this is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into 4 these two are same therefore this is also equal to minus x joules so here the answer is option number 1